Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, episode 7, I think we're on. Getting quite far. Now, I've just realized this tree is blocking the road. That wasn't there last time. If you cannot tell, between episodes, I've planted a lot of trees. I kind of wanted to go for that whole foresty vibe. Like, I really like the house in the forest type of thing. And this won't be my house for too much longer because I want to move. It's very compact and small. Once I move and build, like, a better farm and a better cow pen and everything, all here can become trees as well and we'll have like a pretty secret house. Now something else I did was just add a few more trees as well as some torches here. It looks pretty vibey in the night. I was doing... <laughs> That's the stupidest word I've ever used. <laughs> but it looks pretty vibey in the night. And I was thinking it could be a cool place to like build a camp zone or something. So I might actually need to get rid of some of these trees as I plan to build an animal pen. But I will need spruce fences i don't know why i always forget what that's called but yeah i need spruce fences for what i want to build so sadly i'll have to clear out some of my new forest which i really like that's like the problem with having like a tree farm that also you like for looks is that you'll have to cut it down eventually okay let's get some of these saplings as i can't have my trees going extinct and we'll replant them yeah that's fine and there we go guys we have it done i'm pretty sure 67 is very much enough. Now, I don't think I want to build it here. It's a little bit too cramped and I'm not a massive fan. I'm thinking we build our next animal farm maybe over here, like right beside this. Now, I was originally planning just to build a, an exact replica of this, but on this side. I'm sorry, little one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was so not needed. I did it anyways, though. I've realized that I haven't done this in the most efficient way. So maybe, maybe I make the animal pen like way over here. Yeah, you know what? That could work. I'll have to take this down a layer though. Well, it seems like it's daily clearing out time of the episode, which I seem to do all the time, which is why I said daily. But yeah, I guess there's just a lot of uneven land that I need to get rid of and make more space. Why are so many cows spawning here? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's just a lot. You know what? We can have two entrances, one here and one here. These will be our separate entrances. I might even make like two different places. Like I might even make them two separate places. Like one cow, one sheep. No idea yet. No. I don't necessarily need a sheep farm. So I'm not like too big on that idea. It just kind of popped in my head and I thought I'd say it. Now how are we feeling about this? It's nine across. Maybe we go here. Or maybe we have an entrance on literally every different corner. Like we just do this all along. I'm thinking that would work pretty well. It's so nice having diamond tools. Everything gets done so quickly. And I already forgot about my rule. <laughs> oh, I never stick to my word. And I've done it again. Oh my god. Guys, forget about it. It's time to clear out these. I would have had to anyways because I have basically no wood. I think I'll be good in terms of gates. Fence gates. Whatever they're called. Stairs. What am I talking about? No, just fences. Wow. <laughs> okay, fence gates are a totally different thing. But yeah, I think I'll be good with those. However, I will have to do some ground modification as it does not line up very well. Oh, apple. Let's go. There's seriously a cow already in here. I could not make that up. Alright, guys. We're getting really close to finishing. Just one more. And we're done. I mean, we're not done done. But um, we're done the outline. I should have said that. Should have specified. Anyways, let's just run across and put our second layer of logs on top so that the cows can't escape over them. And then we'll need some slabs. I don't know what type though. Maybe spruce, but that could also blend in a little bit too much. I'm doing this pretty similar to my... I'm doing this like really similar to the one on my old series. If you watch that, if you didn't, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I had the perfect amount. Couldn't make that up. Okay, guys, it's getting nighttime, so I will have to take a detour to sleep because I don't want the mobs to break my amazing, amazing craft. But yes, I added a few little roses. I don't know, just made it look just a small bit more bright. All right, guys, so I've just done a little bit of extra crafting, got some spruce fence gates and lanterns. Yeah, I was noticing it blends in a lot, like the spruce and this type of wood log, it blends in like a lot, lot. So I was thinking maybe if I ever found dark oak, 
I'd have to collect some and like replace at least the slabs. If not, I'd also replace the fences. We'll have to wait until night time to see if this works, but just skipping one in between should light up the place enough because then we also have light from here on each side. I made way too many lanterns. I had 18 when I only needed eight. Maybe I just completely bring in all this land and then we have the pathway on this level. Yeah, that'll have to be how we do it. This dirt block can get out. Now, I will have to just bring this pathway down so that it doesn't go up, which means we won't need those slabs. But yeah, I think it's time to bring the cows in. Now, this might be a very, very tedious job. Sheep, you guys can let, get let go. I don't really care. Cows, follow me. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Not my horse. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I guess the sheep can go in if they want to. Doesn't... Oh my god! Oh. Jeez, okay. The dogs, you guys can kill the sheep if you want. I got scared for a second. Why are you guys like that? Just a whole wild pack of dogs. Stop clogging up the places. This is so annoying. There we go. Okay, now you guys can all breed. Make more cows. And we've got so much more room. Actually, I think mobs might spawn in here. So, there's something I might have to do about that. I don't know yet, though. Hi, right, I have three bones. Let's see if I can tame any more. Oh, one tamed? What about you? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, this guy can follow me into my little dog pen that I created last episode. Maybe the one before. I can't quite remember. It gets complicated keeping track of what's what, especially when you don't edit, like, um, straight away. Is my dog following me? Is he following me? Doggy, thank you. I don't think any of these dogs need to breed anytime soon because then it will start to lag out my game. So now that we're done with that, guys, I'm actually going to collect a lot of oak logs just from over here because it's for horse stables. It's pretty inspired by a guy called Big Tony MC's design. I'll put it on screen now if you want to go subscribe to him. I saw it on Google when I searched for designs and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I had to search up who did it so that I could credit them. And I think we're done. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> I've been mining this area out for quite a while now. It's like midnight. Not even. Never mind. But yeah, a lot of the trees are basically gone. We're left with flat land, which would actually look pretty nice for building area. I guess it will always be a boat trip because this is way too big of a gap to build a bridge over. I mean, it's possible. I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I feel like it will just take too many resources and... If there's a mistake in the alignment, it won't look very nice. And then it will be complicated to fix. And I don't want all that. Let's go up to our house here. And get to sleep. We've got a pretty good amount of wood. Almost two stacks. And my inventory is very full. Uh, don't know why it's that full, actually. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. I found an enderpearl. I didn't find it. I killed an enderman. But you know what I mean. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix you later. And I guess we can get rid of this in the meantime. Or put a tree in there and make it look overgrown i i like that option way more you guys know me and my overgrown liking okay guys i was just looking at the design really quickly for the horse pens and it it's like a three by five thing so actually really similar to the thing i just built over there i did not intend for that then let's go four up on literally all of these because it needs to be high i'm taking quite a bit of damage and i'm too lazy to eat i just realized i made those two way too tall no wonder I was taking so much damage on just those. I forgot that I'd already had one block placed down, which is a pretty stupid mistake to make. This time I will only need the spruce fences on the sides just to separate them. Because if I use spruce fences at the front, they won't be able to get out because it will be uneven. Uh, if you guys can't tell, I'm not looking at like an in-detailed thing of the design because I don't want to like copy it to the T. I'm just using it as inspiration. I might do my own thing, especially on the roof. Okay, we've got 18 more spruce fences. That should be, should be enough. I did originally want to use this area as houses, but I thought, why not just use it as these as well? Like, it's not doing any harm. We have just enough. We're going to need nine um, fence gates. That's right, that's what it's called. I remembered this time. I will also be placing down some of these lanterns just to give it more light, especially, once again, in the nighttime, mobs really, really pester me, and I don't like it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Luckily, we didn't make too many lanterns. I, I originally thought we did, but we'll end up needing them again, which is right now. I don't really know whether I need this many lanterns. You know what? Actually, I won't. I'll just get rid of these for now. If it ends up being too dark, then I will put them back. 
Ugh, getting wood is so much. If I one day just don't include any wood cutting and come back with like an inventory full of logs, hey, I'm warning you, <laughs> I don't really feel like filming all of that. Like it just, especially because I don't have a lot of time to film. So I'm thinking about just moving onto my in, my own thing on the roof because I forgot what it looks like. <laughs> and I kind of think maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Alright guys, so I've just woken up. I think it's been two in-game nights, so maybe 10-20 minutes. I can't really count. But I've made some drastic changes to my original plan. I ended up completely getting rid of the middle one because I could not work out a roof design that fit this style but also worked with the three right by each other. Like I tried putting it in the middle, curving it, it just did not look good. So, um, I should have a shovel on me, yes I do. I've also had to get rid of so many trees, I'll be replanting them, don't worry. This allows us to have some space for another pathway right in between it. I wish my pathways weren't so straight up square, but... It's just the way that I've built the layout of the, the places already. Like, I can change that. I probably will change this and curve it more. And while we're talking about it, why not do it? Alright, how's this looking, guys? I I think I've made this curve a little too small. Hmm, let me think. Uh, no. Yes, but no. See, it works, but I don't know if it works for what I want this area to do. I want this all to be houses, and then I want the houses to continue as you curve. And I don't know if I've made that possible. But we can always change it at a later date, I'll remember that. So I'm going to stick with what we've got here now. Eventually, I will get rid of all these trees, landscape the area, and we'll be building more houses here. It just seems like a pretty daunting task, which I'm not going to be doing right now. I'm going to get the inside design finish of this, and I think I might need... Yeah, I'm going to need more. Do I still have that crafting table up here? No, I'm not... I don't hate how this has turned out. Like, it looks pretty decent. I'm just not, like, incredibly... I wish it had worked out the other way. I'll say that. You guys did not see that terrible placement of stairs. Oh my god, that was bad. Yeah, it looks much better when it's been curved around. I don't even know what the proper word is. Like, I'm saying curved around, I don't think that's actually the word. Oh my god, I'm terrible at placing upside down stairs. I should not put this on my resume. You know what, it could work with the style. I'll destroy some here. Then just a few more to make it fit well. And now we can go, bro. Let's go. Let's go on to your new place. I think we'll give him the first one on. And have fun in there, buddy. Now, another thing I don't like is how this looks. It's really annoying me. So maybe, maybe just maybe, I make the pathway a little dirty. Like messy. As if it's been walked on a lot. I'll have to match the rest of the pathway with this eventually. I was planning on doing that anyways. This has given me a reason to actually do it. Definitely not amazing, but it works, no? What if I even placed a... Yeah, you know what? That could work. We place a fence here and a fence here. I like how that's turned out, because then we'll have light as well. This is a pretty good place for a garden. Then we have a little fence here. Why not? We have no flowers. Okay, let me check my chest to see if I have any flowers. I don't think I will. Oh, okay, yes, we have one. Let's just bone meal it so we can get a bit more. Alright, you know what? That doesn't look terrible. We can even put one of them right here. 